Good morning, everyone. This is Mr. Farley with the tech tip for today. I'm going to show you how to access iReady from an Android device, whether that's a phone or a tablet. The iPhone software already has an app in there in the Apple App Store for iReady, but there's not one for Android, but I'm going to show you a way around that. So if you have a student that needs to access iReady and doesn't have a computer, they can access it from a tablet or a phone device that has internet. So the first thing you're going to do is want to go to um, Google, and you're going to want to just search iReady, and it's going to log you into a screen here. When you get to the iReady login, it's going to tell you, uh-oh, your internet browser is not supported, but I found a way to get around that from just watching a YouTube video, but I wanted to make it directly with my phone. If you click the three dots here on your web browser, and you scroll down, you'll see a button that says Desktop Site. Go ahead and click that button. And it's going to reprogram that web page to be like you're logged on to a computer screen um, that you would normally access on your regular laptop or desktop computer. At that point, what I would go ahead and do first before you try to log in as the student is click the three dots again. And there's a button at the bottom that says add to home screen. What that's going to do is that's going to add like an icon or what looks like an app to your home screen. You can name it iReady. You can leave it as iReady login. I'm just going to leave it as iReady login. I'm going to add it to my home screen. And when I log back out of here and I scroll over, you're going to see that I have iReady login right there. If I click that button, it's going to take me back to that same site. From there, students can zoom in. They can enter their username, their password. They'll need to click their state. And they should be able to log into iReady and do the program that way.